Well, the fans are headed out, but we still have lots more on the, the last session presented by Golden Road Brewing. We love to have fresh new meat of Olympian on this show. So we've got Zach Harding. Fresh out the box. Fresh out of the box of the 200 Butterfly OMG. Yeah. I got to sit on the lane line. Right. Tell people, because I don't think that everybody knows what the sitting of the lane line means. What does it mean when you get to do that? Yeah. So you don't get to sit on the lane line if you don't win or like set a world record or um, something like that. So... I, my, I had my whole like celebration plan. I was going to touch, win, sit on the lane line. And that, that's what I did. It was awesome. It was awesome. You know what else is awesome? I looked at your Wikipedia. You ready for this? In 2021, he qualified for the 2020 Olympic Games in the 200 Butterfly. Wow. It's already on your Wikipedia. That happened like two minutes ago. Right? People are on it. People are totally <laughs> on Is that cool to hear that? Yeah. It's like I've been like imagining and, and dreaming of Olympian being associated with my name and yeah. Now it's going to go next to my LinkedIn, O-L-Y. Forever. Yeah. Forever. And you, you know, what's interesting, you'll also get a, uh, an Olympian email address. What? No one told me that. Yep. You'll get an Olympian and you get to put O-L-Y at the end of your name. Oh, like, that's for cool. real. No, like, one told, no one tells you about the email address. This is why you need to tell the people to come and talk to me because I tell you all the ins and outs. That's why I'm here. Exactly. Okay. But this why is... are you here dressed as a human and not as a bat like well, Batman back in 2016? Well, I did have my Batman shirt on when I walked out, and I did. I my cap has the Batman on it with, with uh, the pirate in the background. So it's a my my whole thing right now is big into Batman and, and pirates, and so I put those together for a super dope logo, uh, but not the dope for drug testing. That's not we don't do that. Um, <laughs> but that kind of goes together, and I yeah. always like the pirates, or they kind of go and take whatever they want, and I wanted a spot, so kind of took that energy and Batman was always prepared and he's the coolest superhero there is so I put the two together and uh, I love that so instead of Batman as the full onesie which right? I almost packed regret I got here and got super nervous wish I had packed it Me but too. I'm glad I had my cap I so, am too and now that we know what it means that's really really cool yeah it's super I think it looks cool yeah and you know what they say look good feel good feel good swim fast happy swimmers fast swimmers so that all goes together really well I think and and later in life you're gonna have to learn happy wife happy life yes slow and steady wins race on that one though ah, but yes, yes yeah, you're right you're right 100%. very slow and steady mm -hmm. Zach let's not rush into yeah, things we got our whole life but yeah no. <laughs> but we got to keep her for sure right now Oh, you do? Yeah. How long have you been seeing this said person? Two and a half, a little over two and a half years. Okay. So, yeah. Does she also like the Batman? She She's very supportive of the Batman. Okay. Yeah. All and right. She helped me tweak my race strategy before it took all through club swimming, all my coaches at Louisville, and she was the one who finally put the words together in just the right sentence that made it get through the my thick noggin. I was like, oh, this is how I should do the 200. And so that... Okay. So she's... She's part of the reason that, that I did what I did tonight. What were her words to you? She said, instead of the back hundred, like I like to do, middle hundred. I love her already so much. She is a keeper. It's groundbreaking, but... The, the, she was spot on. It, it worked. So Right? Well, yep. she did that for you. Are you going to write her a song? Because I know that you are also a guitar player. I am. Yeah, we should write her a song. Well, I don't know that we should. You I should. should write. Yeah, correct. But this maybe, is not. maybe, maybe we could get both of us. Can you sing? I can't sing very well. No, so I could play. You could sing. The crew knows here that I don't sing. I try to sing every okay. day, and it's really um, surprising that we have any glass in here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now, do you listen to music before you race? Yeah. So I have this playlist on Spotify. It's called Death on Repeat which has to be vetted by my girlfriend because I, I'm the type of guy that I love to go find new music. I'm listening to like European northern heavy uh, like symphony metal bands and stuff like that. And so okay. I'm finding all these weird bands and I find a song I like, super catchy stuff, and I play it five, seven times a day for like three, four days in a row. And so when, if I like it enough, I play it enough, then it gets to go on my death on repeat, which you know, my girlfriend doesn't like those songs as much because I play them all the time. So it's death by repeat for her. So oh, it's a vetted playlist. Okay. All bangers. Okay. Uh, right. Is it yelling and screaming type of music? No, no, no. Oh, it's oh, more oh. like uh, 
like we're gonna go fight a dragon sort of sort of vibes. But it goes back. My my, my favorite song is Kryptonite by Three Doors Down. Ever since I was young, love, love you. It's a great song. So like that. So I, I tried to like also include the songs that I loved when I was growing up, and I would play yeah the songs I loved to listen to in middle school, and then I just kind of keep building on that as I go find new bands and every. Every Friday is great because I come out with new music and I always have a band that's coming out with something. Power Wolf is a German band. They're coming out with a new album here in July, which I'll have before the Olympics. Nice. And so that's really exciting. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm very well-tuned in, in that sort of department. Okay. Oh, I love how Guitar Player says well-tuned. Pun intended. But um bump Now, we've been mentioning her as said girlfriend. Do we have a name? Yeah. Uh, Alina Kenzior. She's, she was in my class. Uh, she's half Russian, half Estonian. And uh, and she puts up with my board games and stuff too, so that's that works out really well. Okay, board. I, yeah, well, I play the the heavy board games, not like there's like the monopolies and then there's like Catan, and then there's the games I play. Not what's quite your f- Dungeons and Dragons, but like right right in the middle. In there. the middle. So yeah. what's one of your favorites? So Terraforming Mars. That's that's a big one right now. Okay. And uh, and Scythe. That's kind of. Hmm, I haven't heard pro- that one. Probably probably not most people have, but they're very st- high strategic games and so okay. I, I've played with Zane Grothy uh, who's also an engineer so he, he kind of can pick up on those games and he said that he's like those as well so but it's hard to find people that to play with because they're so in depth and you kind of gotta walk them through and of course yeah. when you and Zane play who wins oh, t- duh I've, I have the game so I've played I have <laughs> I have I have experience on my side but he did really good so okay I, good okay I think two three games and then it then it evens out okay because you, right. you, first games learn the rules. Second games learn a strategy. Third game is you, for the marbles. You play. Right. Oh, do you play for money or marbles? Uh, or I'd rather play for marbles. I never played for money. Don't do it. But playing for marbles might be fun. Playing for marbles. Yeah, I'll get yeah. you some marbles. You can bring them over to Tokyo. Yeah. Yeah. You can swap marbles. <laughs> okay, this is getting really weird. So, do you going. play video games or are you a board game guy? I'm more of a board game Good. guy. But uh, I was just watching Big Bang Theory with with Alina, and they had Halo Night, uh, and so I was like. <laughs> It's an awesome game. So I went through and played uh, 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and I'm going to finish out the series. And I guess a new one's coming out. But I don't play board, uh, video games very often. Okay. I just kind of watch TV. We're watching Suits right now. It's a good show. It is a good show. Yeah. There's a royal on there, I hear. Yeah. Mm. And I'm super jealous because Michael Phelps got to meet my, my favorite character, uh, Harvey, in the show. Everything he says is just pure gold, just everything he says. So... A little jealous of, of Phelps for that. But, but here's the thing. You're an Olympian now, so you're going to start to get to meet people like that. Yeah, it'd be cool. I'd love that. Yeah? Oh, this is great. This is awesome. The best part of being an Olympian, meeting your favorite characters on TV. That is sick. It's awesome. I mean, everything just kind of, it's just like dominoes. You get that first one out of the way, and everything just kind of starts to fall. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. See, back he, to dominoes, board games. <laughs> and there we go. Who knew? What else are you swimming? Uh, I got the 100 fly. I'm entering the 2 IM. Depending on what time... And if we end up sleeping tonight, depends on if we'll do that. Okay. But I kind of want to do it just to say I did the backstroke with the, and then just watch myself on the TV. You're not supposed to do that, but I figured you it's not it. my event. Right. And I already did what I came here to do. Right. So just for fun. Well, good. Plus, you can watch TV while you swim. What is more magical than that? I don't know. I don't either. I, I don't know. I just think that'd be fun. But the hundred fly, we're gonna we'll, we'll we'll drop a time there. Good. Be competitive. Well, that'll be fun to watch. I want to wish you the best of luck. Thank you for coming and chatting with us. And welcome to the Olympian fraternity, because guess what? You are an Olympian, and you're going to get the email address. Oh, I love the... Yeah, hit me up on my email address. I sure will. I'll give you mine. All right. (laughs) Okay, perfect. Thanks so much for chatting with me. Thank you. Enter a California state of mind. Where refreshing beer meets real mangoes. Mango Cart, an award-winning wheat ale from Golden Road Brewing. Once we start swimming, we're in for life. (laughs) We swim with goals. Let's get it going, come on. With joy. With our community. A community that believes swimmers don't just do something fun. They become something exceptional. Join us here, where we love this sport. 
You know, they say that a picture is worth a thousand words, but who's behind those pictures? have definitely seen his pictures if you have not seen him but now you have seen him we have got mike lewis photographer extraordinaire your photographs are amazing thank you for being with us by the way first of all oh thank you amy it's it's my honor to be here it's great being with you it's just it's so cool your pictures have been seen everywhere how did you get into doing this um i always say you know it, i didn't plan it Let's, let's be straight okay. up. All right. um, but you know, when I was a kid, um, the Instamatic cameras around the house, film days, um, and I always sort of refer to this sort of elusive butterfly shot you'd see in the magazine, that head up shot. You yes. know, of course, you use the little point and clicks around the house. And, you know, you'd, you'd have them sent away, they'd come back and come back in the envelope, and every once in a while you'd get a keeper. So, right. um, but, you know, photography's just been something that has uh, been a part of my life, but it's uh, not something that I pursued professionally until, you know, a bit over a decade ago. Okay. Um, so, uh, but it was always something that has sort of uh, been along the side with me, and I am just, I say, I feel like I'm yanking on the lane of life. That's a cool way to say <laughs> that. I love that. So what was it that over a decade ago made that decision for it to become your livelihood? Um, so I was the GM at the Mitch Vio Nanadors and uh, a lot of tear shoots there. Um, and yeah. they were a tier team at the time, and I was just captivated. I had spent several years in Olympic sport management, and so I got the opportunity to come back to California, which is where I'm from and where I was born, and uh, and and it was you know going to you know growing up in swimming, you know with the Natadors, it was, it was oh, everything. Yeah. So it all came together, and I just think that some of this stuff sort of percolated in my head, and and it just sort of came from within. And uh, wow. uh, there was a point in time where I uh, I just said I'm gonna go for it, and so I did, and. Uh, a lot of thanks to my good friend Mel Stewart and the folks at Swim Swam who uh, I, uh, I started out with and uh, they were fantastic to me and okay. uh, I'm really grateful for that. Um, but uh, that's kind of the, you know, the 30,000 foot view of how it all came to be here tonight. Something I find very interesting and all these young ticky talkers and YouTubers may find this interesting. You don't use a tripod. No, I, I don't use tripod. How, why, why? Is it just personal preference? Because your shots are amazing and they are still and they're, how do you do it? Um, I, yeah, it's funny because when we watched that cut, yeah. I, I was saying to you that, you know, there's, I just sort of get in a, a, a place. I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but I know that if I've, I've, I've used a monopod in the past, and I've always I found it got in my way. Okay. And so there's ways of stabilizing myself with my knee or, or just sort of being sort of kind of centered myself like a biathlete and, and uh, just controlling your breath and holding still and shooting at a fast shutter speed, a number of factors combined. And, but I just find that it gives me the dexterity to, to move and see and just kind of let it come to me. I try not to look for the picture. I try to see the picture, you know? So oh. I feel like if you look, you're trying. Okay. If you see, you let it come to you. So it's oh. a sort of a perspective shift. Okay, well, I, I don't want to say let's look at some of your photographs. <laughs> let's see some of your photographs. Let's go, look right here. Okay. Talk me through this because this is absolutely stunning. Um, so that was uh, obviously during the opening 
sequence, mm -hmm. uh, which is amazing. The production crew, is, it's mind-blowing. If you haven't seen it yet, you know, see it. Yeah. It's, it's just, it gets everybody pumped up. But in this shot, what I did is I, I did use a tripod for this because okay. this is a 10 second exposure. Oh, it is? And yeah, so that's what creates that trailing of the, of the lights. Um, so, you know, I ha I'm shooting oh. it with a remote, it's on a tripod, and I just have a radio remote that I'm standing there next to it and I'm, I'm triggering it as, uh, as the sequence is going on. How many pictures did you take to get this one? Um, I think in that sequence there was about three, because it's 10 oh. seconds, and I want to be in and out in the dark. That's the other part of uh, kind of the ethos I bring to this is I don't want to be in the limelight. You know, I don't want to be in the middle, so I want to be gone by the time the, light, the house lights come up. So yeah. as much as possible, try to keep the footprint uh, to the periphery and make sure that the show is the show, because what this is, this is about swimming. And my ability to simply hold up a mirror and reflect the cool Mm. That's all I do. Oh, that is yeah. beautiful. And so I'm, I'm just fortunate. Oh, I'll tell you what. Some of these athletes are fortunate. Like this young lady who is fortunate. She, well, she's not fortunate. She made the team. Oh, she sure. made the team <laughs> twice tonight. Katie Ledecky, how do you get that shot? Um, so this was up in February, or up in Palo Alto in February. And it was one of the, I think it was the first uh, commercial projects that Katie had done uh, since the uh, pandemic uh, put us all down. And so it was just a really, it was me, uh, the creative director from Tier. Uh, we had a uh, COVID marshal. And mm -hmm. uh, so it's me in the water. I have a housing and a flash. And uh, I have a weight belt and a pair of fins. And, How and big is the camera that you're, you, right? Because I've seen you with your lens. Right. That thing is ginormous. I mean, that thing you can see from the moon. So how do you get that shot when you're so close to her? You don't have that huge lens. No, oh. no, no. This is, this is something that's about, you know, say about this big okay um basketball and, size and yeah, basketball size that, that, that's a great 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 uh, uh size comparison okay um and it's uh it just encases the camera inside of there and it's a wide angle so i can be very close sure in those scenarios um so um that's uh, that's how that one came to be wow yeah. that is just gorgeous as oh, is this next one i mean just the lines of his body yeah with that, the bubbles yeah that was that was that's that's uh, that was taken over in budapest okay um and that's uh olympian tom shields olympic gold medalist tom shield yep and um that's again one of those situations where i just sort of saw it yeah like i saw those lights and they were doing some testing because this was part of the ISL. Okay, yeah. And they had a, a very fantastic uh, uh, light scheme that would uh, project in the inside of the pool. Sure. And so in that scenario, it was one of those where, hey, you know, I see those lights, and I've been waiting for them to be on, and they happen to be on. So I yeah. turned to Tom, I said, Tom, I want you to push off the wall, I want you to dolphin, I want you to do really over, you know, undulate a lot and blow a lot of bubbles out. And so that was that was a one that's a one shot opportunity. Oh, that is so cool! Yeah. Now yeah. that one was it, uh, Kieran Smith that we saw in that piece with him blowing out the water. Right. Did you get any on you? No. Okay. Well, good. I mean, I just think, especially with COVID, you've got to stay away from that. Right. Yes. Um, <laughs> you know, you start to learn certain things and certain mannerisms and behaviors and and sort of the rituals. Yeah. Of the swimmers, and that's certainly them. a ritual of Kieran's and so this creates a ideal background because it's so dark yeah creates that contrast and really just picks up that uh that spray that oh. he does before his races. It's cool to see you get pictures of things, like you said, that swimmers always do. One of the other things that you got a picture of that swimmers always do is this right here. And this one is something, uh, I, I, pardon me, there was a different one, um, but this one right here with Nathan Adrian. Yeah, so we're, what that is, that's another one of those where you just sort of let, you just see it, you know, don't try yeah. to force it, but I mean, that's in Santa Clara. And I, I, he was, he just sort of picked the right lane and mm -hmm. it was the lane closest just right over the top of the 10 meter and I jumped up just ran up to the top of the 10 meter and just started shooting and wow. uh he was warming down and 
Okay, I was going to say, why got. is Nathan Adrian on his back? He yes. swims on his front. Yes. What is he doing on his back? But he's warming up or warming down. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a special opportunity to get uh, Nathan warming down and and uh, get a nice uh, face shot. So that is gorgeous. And did you get to jump off the ten meter, or did you get pushed, or did you choose not to? Did I you walk back down? I, I, I walk back down. Uh, I mean, I, it's it's deceptively high. I mean, I think we both jumped off a ten meter at various points in our lives. And you, not you fun. Think, you think it'd be fun? You like you look at it when you're yeah. a kid. You're like, oh, totally, I want to do that. Yeah, you watch it on TV. You're like. Yeah, easy peasy, yeah, lemon squeezy. Yeah, the coach says, yeah, you want to jump off the tail. You get up there and you're like, uh, and yep. they're like, there's no coming down. No, and especially <laughs> for me, someone who's afraid of falling from heights, the irony of that we need not speak about. But I was like scared to death. And my coach at University of Arizona, Frank Bush, thought that it would get me over my fear. It did not, <laughs> Mike. It did not. Good gravy. So tonight, right, we had a lot of awesome swims and some really cool moments. Oh, yeah. And you were telling me about one when we had Allison Schmidt and Michael Phelps and kind of what you saw. And, and can you kind of talk me through that again? Yeah, it's just, uh, again, some of that just kind of being there in the environment and being able to document and show these special moments. It just means everything to me. And so, uh, you know, as Allison was getting her award, uh, Michael, his son Boomer, and his wife Nicole had come down, and and they were just sort of sitting quietly in the corner waiting for her to walk past the fans, and she greeted her family and everyone. And and then uh, they all convened, and and, uh, it was was really, really special to see that special moment of Allison again making the team such a wonderful person. uh, her relationship with Michael is is uh, it's just so beautiful, and it was just uh, it meant everything to be there. It was really really neat to witness uh, that. It was that. incredible to watch it. So I can't wait to see your pictures oh, well, on that. You. Now you were talking a little bit earlier about, and kids nowadays have no idea about getting the film back, and you know having the negatives, and now they've got the digital. Which do you prefer? Because I know I have some friends that are you know photographers, and they also prefer to go back to old school film. But how does that work in sports? I'm just going to say it's, it's, it's digital. I mean, I, I mean, I'm, right. I'm not, I'm not a purist. Um, I, the film slows you down. Okay. It, it absolutely, it slows you down. You really have to focus on your composition. You only have a finite number of exposures in a roll of film. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, sometimes I'll actually do that at points where I'll say, I'm only going to give myself a finite number of shots and I'll say, I'll shoot with a, uh, you know, single, uh, expo- or single click instead of a burst exposure, okay. and uh, and that kind of uh, sort of emulates it a bit. But I will say that uh, for me, it's uh, it's it's digital. I enjoy I enjoy the process of the post production. Um, but in high school, I I worked in dark rooms. I worked in dark rooms uh, throughout my life, and and it's fun. It yeah. is nice. It's peaceful. Yeah, it there's, is. There's no doubt about it. Yep. Um, but it's messy. It's, there's a lot of work that goes into that. So yeah. that's no mark against people who are film purists. I think that's a wonderful thing. It's amazing. Uh, it's sort of like vinyl records. I dig vinyl records. I have a turntable, but I carry my music around with me most of the time. Oh, I was going to say, are you like <laughs> one of those guys that like gets at home and goes, ear, ear? Uh, no? not, not, oh. not, not, not scratching. Not oh, scratching. scratching. That's right. That's what the kids call it nowadays. Okay. So you said that you looked at my Instagram. If you have any uh, tips for me and or any other of the Instagrammy people out there for composition of a good photograph that'll catch someone's eye, what would it be? Uh, I'd say, you know, don't force it. Don't force it. Find what your vision is, because we all have a vision. Yeah. And everybody's vision is beautiful. Yeah. And and if if you know if you can find that in yourself, take lots of pictures. Have fun with it. Enjoy it. Try different perspectives. You know, okay. don't don't uh, don't don't try to be perfect. You know, I mean, you see the good stuff. Yeah. There's plenty of bad stuff that I make too. Okay. <laughs> I don't think so, but okay, fine. Yeah. Um. But no, I, I really, I, I can't say enough that, you know, find it in yourself. Enjoy it. Yeah. It's like swimming. You have to love it. Right? Oh, of course. And that's, and that's where, you know, I feel it. It actually, it, it conjures up some emotion in me when I think of my good fortune. Because my two worlds, my passions of swimming and photography, you know, come together. Like I said, I feel like I'm yanking on the lane line of life. Because you were a swimmer. Yeah, yeah. And wow. I still swim. I swim nearly every day. 
Wow. Um, so it's, uh, it's still my thing. It's, uh, it, it keeps me the right side. Mike, I will tell you what, I'm so thankful. And for people who, um, you know, want to see you, right, they can watch you on the deck. You are running around like a crazy man up and down the <laughs> stairs all around, right? And so, you, I mean, every time I've seen you, you've been out of breath. So how you get these amazing pictures, I have no idea. I try to move smooth on deck. Okay. And fast below. Yeah, I think that's if, if uh, you know, if you're, if you're not, well, even if you are here, you may not realize that yeah. there's a full world underneath that pool. Yeah, that's right. And so I've squirreled cameras throughout the venue, uh, and I, I know where one each is. I have, a, I, have a, I have a camera specifically devoted towards the awards. I have some stuff that we're doing for behind the scenes on the start end and uh, between the warm-up pools, and then uh, I have a rig I keep with me on deck, so... It's, uh, wow. it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Mike Lewis, thank you for coming and joining me today. It was such a pleasure chatting with you and getting to have such a talent on this stage. So I appreciate your time. Well, thank you, Amy. It means a ton to be here with you. I thank have you. a ton of admiration for oh, you. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. I'll pay you later. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? There's some people who made the team tonight that you took some pictures of, I'm sure. So we are going to check out who made the team. Here is the women's 1500. Who else? Miss Ledecky. Katie Ledecky swam the 200 and the 1500 within an hour of each other. And that mile, she just killed it. Oh, I blew it. The 200 freestyle. Oh, wait, there she is again. Katie Ledecky. Again, she won that 200 freestyle. She'll, she will be swimming that in Tokyo, as well as that 800 free relay, where we added four new Olympians from this 200. There she is, Allison Schmidt. You know her as Schmitty. She got second, so she is your first relay swimmer. And your second relay swimmer is Katie McLaughlin. No surprise there, such a talent. It was great to see her make that relay. And she is going to be a spectacular and integral part of that. And then of course, again, Paige Madden making that relay. So excited for her. She had a great race tonight. She has to be so pleased with herself. Then we had the 200 IM, and there she is, Miss Alex Walsh. I'll tell you what, she just, it was such a fun race to watch, and she was so happy afterwards, and that's what I love about this event. Everyone seems to be happy if they win. 200 Butterfly, <laughs> I guess you would be happy if you won, right? I don't know, sorry about that. Zach Harding. That's right, we had him right here on the stage. He is amazing. He can do the wave. He is Batman. Uh, he is going to be your Olympian for the 200 butterfly. Have you gotten a chance to talk to, to Zach at all? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, he's, he's fantastic. As you just yeah. talked with him a moment ago, um, great addition to the great person, great energy. Yeah. And as you know, I think part of the secret sauce of USA swimming and our the Olympic team is the chemistry and the environment of that that is created by everyone involved. And yeah. so it's neat to have some personalities that uh, Isn't will it? lift everybody up because it's certainly a team effort. Well we'll see if he brings that uh, Batman onesie to Tokyo with him. <laughs> um, tomorrow we have got some more events for you. It's not over people. We've We've got the final of the men's 800 freestyle. We've got the men's 200 breaststroke final, where we're going to crown another Olympian. The women's 100 freestyle semifinal. The men's 200 backstroke semifinal. We're going to get another Olympian in the women's 200 butterfly. That's a final. Another final in the men's 100 freestyle. Remember, we're going to take four there in that event. We've got the women's 200 breaststroke semifinal. And we're going to round out the night with another semifinal. It's the men's 200 individual medley. And remember to come here before finals for Splash on Deck, watch the NBC show, and then come back here for the last session right after finals where you get all of the goodies, all of the ins and the outs. Everyone have a great night. I am Amy Van Dyken, and we will see you tomorrow from Omaha.